Hello everybody, my name is Caleb and welcome back to Persona 5. Ah, uh, sorry about that guys, I need to take a quick drink real quick. We are picking up where we left off with Sodro just they're showing that he knows about it. And we got these nukes caster going on about the speech that was given by that representative Shido forming a new party. <laughs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of... Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, wow. it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30. That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves, and it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I'm sorry. This isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Man, Sojro's... <laughs> I'll tell him to believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Sweet. <laughs> I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm res <laughs> Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. All right. Time to put our hey, secret great. work. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. I catch you suggested they go to school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many. What if? It'll, it'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. What 30 million yen, man? Just can't let a might, or just can't let me dream a little. You just can't let me dream a little. Yo, you see the news? I'd brace myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice for, well, for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're going to get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. I thought I was going to get attacked. We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kaneshiro cases were coincidental. Um... Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too, considering what happened with the rankings? Only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap. It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Majad and the site's altercation. 
They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kobayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Jesus. Ah! <laughs> Ryuji, taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. Hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? Last sight of our goal. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves. But we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up. And that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore. They must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Let's turn the tables. <laughs> Yeah. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like absolutely not. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's flip the tables upon them and then their just desserts will be on Yo. the floor <laughs> oh, all right anyways hey it's ryuji uh being framed in the added bounty it all felt like such bullshit i lost it i'm sorry i know how you feel huh <sighs> sorry guys i got like unquenchable thirst going on Maybe I haven't changed at all since the time we went up against Kamashita. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be dependent on. Him. Guess I went straight to my head. I thought I could be anything, or I thought I could do anything if it was for justice. But that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must have been the shittiest of the sh of shitbags. I kid, even joke about it. You can still change. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Harry with the top of didn't I? I'll have to apologize to him See ya. You soon. Uh. I got a message from Akechi Kun. He wants us to gather at Leblon tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow, that's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be okay. Um, we'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our face anymore. Let's go about this calmly. We'll see all of them by tomorrow. Mm. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now. 
let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay. Alright, we're still stuck on doing anything. Nice. I'm fine with Akechi joining, to be honest. He's gonna be our secret weapon. Oh, he changed to if, if we're innocent. 20% of, of people think we are. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Oh, so he's the one who's Only been making Only now them. does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's mm. bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. Let us end this chaos. Through my hands and yours! He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that idiot. makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. The other guy makes sense, but that younger dude is just like, Oh, I think I like him. I like the words he's saying. They sound familiar. Or, and it's like, great, you have no idea how politics When you say works. that you want us to cooperate with you, <laughs> what exactly do you intend us to That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around. Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I well. told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. 
All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. Ha! Buster, quit it. Quit it. Poor Makoto. What do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek just... Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some... It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? We will. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought well. it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Well. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? I wonder why. Beats me. I hope it's just my imagination, though. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although... His attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi Kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended hmm. while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus. 
What's happening to me now? It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. So I'm slowly starting to accept the truth. I feel like my bond is growing deeper. That feel that makes me happy. I feel <laughs> oh, she's starting to accept that my statement is true. All right. That makes me good. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Oh, the, we're getting to the end, the climactic end. All right, we're gonna read the story here real quick. I got, I gotta read the story. Oh, I'm curious what's gonna happen. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her path. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. <laughs> what? A girl shouldn't say things like that. You tell her too. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Don't fall for it. <laughs> <clears throat> Also, I'm not gonna lie, though, that would be pretty impressive. <laughs> Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> there's, there's, oh, there's something else I want you to look into. Okay, what happened? Does this mean that everything at this point is, like, w whatever I interact with or something? I don't know. Or is it just not going to tell me? I need to know what's happening! <laughs> well, first off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence regarding the current cabinet. That, along with legislator Shido's plan for a new party, has sparked fears of government disband- governmental disbandment? Whatever. Where are we meeting today? All oh, right, we never told were told where to meet up at the courthouse. Where's that? At the district, the government office district. Kasumi Gazaki. Indeed. Oh, I've never heard of that place. Never been there though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Oh, just look at the map. It. Oh, just looking at the map is impressive. The police department, ministry of defense, public prosecutor's office, and public security. The type building is right near there too. For real, what kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi Kun, alright then, they just haven't been discovered yet. So we are just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory? Has anyone contacted me, Akechi? We are going to meet them there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading into the lines. <laughs> So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. But this should be a substantially forced operation. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her path. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Uh huh? 
what about my smartphone? Oh. This is the model I wanted. You're so lucky. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. <laughs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. Holy crap. She's totally... Oh, like, yeah. I feel like... I hope we get along. <laughs> I'll do my best. I feel like she's going through all his info. Though our positions are somewhat different, Akechi will be joining us for the time being. I feel like my bond with Akechi has grown deeper. Sweet. Allows you to pass your turn over to another baton passes users after one more. Allows you to pass your turn over. I don't know. Alright, follow up. Chance to perform and follow up attack. If Joker's attack is not down the enemy. Sweet, alright. Just go ahead and get everything all, right. all at once then. Personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. <laughs> She's praising you, I believe. <laughs> then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it... Marshall. Have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Have not been there are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that... We played cards during the school trip. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. Ooh, way to go, Makoto. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. All right, guys, we're about to enter into the palace. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. It's a casino. What? So this is where it all ends, or, be, or where we met, catch up to the beginning. I mean, why was her thing a casino though? I'm curious. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. I brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. <laughs> that reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else? Skull. Mine's Fox. 
We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's not... Then... Perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right? From here <laughs> on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. This is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration room. Wait! We're going to far too much change to find another room. Guys, let's check up these stairs. Yes. I can feel it. I can see it. Hmm. Okay. We'll be able to sneak in from here. I was kind of curious why I can't run and stuff. Oh? So this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you plan on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. Mm. So this is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is apt for piercing rather than sticking. <laughs> See. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino, there's no doubt this is a palace. Oh. Alright, Crow doesn't know too much about the cognitive being, does he? Ah oh yes, in addition to similar topography, co cognitive people exist based on their ruler's perceptions. <laughs> that probably don't make much sense because of all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these ones look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not as... Nah, it's difficult to believe it's not actually a casino. <laughs> not all can... Cognitions are normal, though, in Futaba and Ukamura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful, particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm, this is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. <laughs> Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. <laughs> Ooh, the car calling card wasn't merely for show, it's a necessary step. <laughs> Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Come on, well then, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a... <c> <laughs> I like it catchy, I don't care what anybody else says. Well then, let us begin securing our round. Focus. I remember this from the beginning of the game. I can feel it. I can see it. I can see it. I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. 
It's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? You should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. Let's go see what she wants. So you've come. Well, she is way different than she is in real life. Oh, never mind. Excuse me for that. Go on there. Oh. The treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? As, as I said before, I wish to go about this in a, the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this thing. to reach higher floors. Come, Joker, let us pursue her. Let's mm. get after her, Joker. Take the elevator right behind her. Alright. Oh, please enter your members card. Um. Oh, perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. Do you have Seniors a typically have a, a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things might be sim maybe similar here. What? That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thing. I would agree with you, but... <laughs> Shadow. As expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. I she see. must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes. Well... No need to worry, I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. We have, have high expectations. Yes. I promise to suppress the path. Ah, blah. <laughs> Let me respray that. I promise to suppress even such lofty hopes as those. It's a Jaguar man in a diaper. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Persona! Heavy damage? Damn. Now, Robin Hood! That was bad at the right there. Definitely gonna change. Oh no 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 no! I want to replace Lucky Punch with Miracle Punch. You got You're not so bad. And I'm capable of much more. Now then, let us deal with the shadows quickly. Wait, doesn't it sound like we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? Yeah, I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quickly as we can. But as but now that we have an infiltration ramp, I suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well, I trust your experience and judgment. Let us do that. Alright. We're gonna go get a massage and go to work and get that last seven points. <laughs> We're gonna get in the last seven points real quick. Today was one was truly one surprise after another. I hope we can continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need it to explain the steps we take though. That is unnecessary. First we secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? In doing so, the core of the rules' distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. 
By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be something along those lines. Hey, Flux, it ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I'm not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nijima-san's shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's not. There's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well, you will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? Of course. Perfect, I will be available any, any time you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prepare for. Let's, pre let's prepare well for the coming task. Ah oh yes, my apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Akechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes, I will do my best, little to all your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you got. Alright, guys, I think I'm at the point where I'm gonna. Yep. Okay. This is a rare opportunity to steal. Let's steal Nijima's son's heart. Ah, oh, all the cups. Things really have, have really soured. There's even a bounty on you guys. But I seriously believe that Phantom Thieves are innocent. By the way, I changed the survey clip up the ch it, It's already up in flames, though. It's a problem for me, too, if people don't think Phantom Thieves are heroes. Just try to clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you. The people are turning on us, even in this survey. Our popularity really is at an all time low. Hey! I was gonna go get a massage and stuff. But alright, guys, I'm gonna call this video here. We'll be hitting up some a big, long, probably two-hour episode tomorrow. <laughs> Just judging by it, by the outcome of how things are going today. But aside from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of dialogue. It was a lot of cutscenes, and not so much me talking. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that more than me talking. Because <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, guys, I will catch you all in the next. Or if you like the video, please leave it, drop a like. If you want to see more of my content in the future subscribe and uh, guys thank you so much for watching subscribing and sharing the channel and any other kind of support you guys throw my way i'll catch you guys in the next game peace out later taters